Yo, yo, welcome back. This is the Kickoff FC Show. This is your boy, Right 2012, and that's it. Ouch. Uh, damn. I'm rocking solo today, y'all. Ain't no Don Roomba. Uh, did I eat yet? No. So what am I finna do? I'm finna go smoke. Unfortunately, I know y'all are looking forward to seeing him, but he out sick. So feel free to send him some love and some healing energy. Drop a like, drop something in the comments, and just let him know wishing him well, getting better soon. He's trying to recover from the flu. So it's just me for today, right? I'm rocking solo. But as always, you know, we're talking about everything Manchester United, right? And today, we're talking about the match against Brentford, which Brentford is a quality team. We all know that. Brentford is a really good team. And they're basically went toe to toe with us. Even though we had majority of the position, I think it was like 60, 60 40 or something like that. We had some chances to kill off the game. Great goal from Rashford. Able to score one in the first half and put ourselves in a good position to be able to win the game, which we needed to. Because obviously, in the other game that was going on across the street, Newcastle tore up West Ham tore them up i don't know what west ham is doing man they gave that game away they did i don't know man and now it's even irking me even more because now guess who's in third newcastle and i was just saying the other day ain't no way newcastle getting third and now they got third and we tied on points and we can't depend on goal difference because their goal difference is way like double triple quadruple what we got so we can't bank on that. So with nine games left in the season, we're going to have to make sure that we have a better record than Newcastle. So at least that way we can fight for third. Because that's about it. It's just a battle between us two. And Tottenham ain't too far away. It's just that I'm not too worried about Tottenham because Tottenham are going to be Tottenham. They don't want to play under pressure. They don't want to play under stress. <laughs> yeah, it's easy in this way. And Tottenham, Tottenham's story is this. 20 years that there is the owner and they never won something. But at the end of the day, Newcastle is a quality team and they've shown that. You know, and they've beaten us last week. Like, beat us. Like, I ain't gonna make no excuse to talk about that game or even dive too deep into that one. But going back to the game, today, we really had a really good showing today, right? And it looks like Ten Hag gave the team a nice little prep talk. He tried a little bit, uh, some different stuff, because Wigglehorse didn't start. You know, he started Rashford up top with Anthony and Sancho on the field. Sancho looked okay. Uh, I mean, like I said, he didn't look. He doesn't look like the Sancho of Dortmund days. You know, he still he still hasn't found his, his gears yet. And like I said in the last video, I'm still waiting for the real Sancho to show up. Maybe he just needs the offseason to come. And bounce back, like I said, like similar to what Rashford did. He what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You know, Rashford is a different breed, but, you know, we all saw Rashford when his confidence was low, right? He was in a funk last year. Give a whole season, come back this year, more confident. Coach that believes in him, coach that's showing him a few things, boom. Maybe Sancho needs us a little bit of the same remedy. You know, a coach that believes in him, the off-season build-up, some preseason game, get your confidence back, start scoring some goals. Boom. I thought coming back from the hiatus that they sent him off to do some training to come back, he scored a couple goals, and I was like, all right, Sancho, he's starting to build a little bit of, bit of momentum, but then he fell right back into the same spot that he was before. So, come on, we need a little bit more from you, Sancho. As for Anthony, <sighs> Anthony. I don't know what to say about Anthony, man. Like, he's playing, but I need a little bit more from you. And every time I say this, he finds he ends up scoring a goal for us that we need. You know, he turns uh, to the left, takes that shot from the top of the box every single time. He hits that shot. I don't know how defenders don't read that yet. Like, he does that all the time. Don't y'all watch tape? Like, I know that, and I'm right here. So hopefully he can get something out the box. But I just need him to get better with the finishing, find some assists make something of it and he's not playing bad don't get me wrong 
he's playing really well and it was a dog fight today and like i said brentford ain't no slouch so we found a way to win the game that's the important part sometimes you got to learn to win ugly games and even though we had chances to try to kill the game off we didn't right and in the in the 88 plus minute you see um what's his name ten hag making substitutions to try to lock up bringing this defensive players to try to lock up the three points right at this point clearly we're missing opportunities to kill the game off so let's go ahead lock up the defense shore up this thing and get these three points and head back out and get ready for everton on the weekend you know what i'm saying so yeah and i like the fact that anthony marshall is getting back into the mix i think give him some time he'll get his confidence back as well too and if we can start seeing the best from marshall again uh, and and growing in regards to it then it's exciting stuff because i think all these players are still quality players i don't want marshall to leave the team or anything of that nature even if we bring in a simon or a Kane, Mar having marshall on the squad is important you know still keep these players and sabitza rumor has it that are allegedly he doesn't want to go back to bar and he wants to stay at man U. so hopefully we can make that deal happen because he got the assist today um with the pass to rashford so Let's see, and Rashford is the man on fire! Boom shakalaka! Is it the shoes? He's on fire! That got it done for us again today. Got it done for us. So we got the three points. A little bit better off than last week. Now let's try to build on this momentum, keep it going into next week, and destroy Everton. Ain't no way we losing to Everton. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Ain't no way. I don't think you have the facilities for that, big man. <laughs> you understand? If we lose the Everton next week, and I come on here, I'm blasting Everton. I'm going all the way off. All the way off, y'all. All the way off. Anyway, I ain't going to take too much of your time, so thanks for watching. Let us know what you thought about the game. I thought this was a dogfight, a nice, good 1-0 win for us, a clinical, important three points that we needed. So we got the job done, one step closer to locking up top three, but it's going to be a dogfight between us and Newcastle as we tackle the next nine games. Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. This is your boy, Right 2012 Subscribe, like, let us know what you think. Drop something in the comments. We'll follow up with you, man. Thank you, y'all. I'm out.